Hi, I'm Ruli, and you're watching the 14th video of my playthrough of the Dragon Age DLC Awakening. To recap, this is Dirk. And Dirk was recently stuck in the Fade, where he met this Spirit of Justice. Together they rallied a bunch of villagers to fight back against this Baroness who had trapped them there. And on her part, she recruited our old friend the First, which didn't work great for the First because when the Baroness saw she was losing, she used his life force to send everyone back to the physical world including Justice, who woke up in the body of the corpse of Kristoff, and including herself. So she turned into a large pride demon, and Dirk, Justice, and co. had to fight her all over again. Then they fought the spirit of a dragon, because why not? And we got this lovely scene of the mother being crazy, and also, Ogren decided to be a somewhat present parent in his child's life. So, yay! Basically, a lot happened to that last video. On we go! Is it a potion? <gasps> Here it is! Ah! Uh! Yes. Oh, look who gets that little griffin on his shield. Okay. Alright. Am I correct in hearing that you are dead, dwarf? In a manner of speaking, yes. The body I inhabit is dead as well. I don't think that's quite the same thing, my friend. <laughs> what? No explanation? Come on. You've got a long trip. Aldrich. I pity the siege crew that tries to breach our walls. Ah. Glad to hear it. Um, I would try the Chantry if I were you. Your... Uh... Your skin is peeling. I hadn't noticed. Could I offer you a poultice? Something? Anything? The sight is quite distressing. I apologize, and I thank you for your offer, but nothing can be done. Christoph's body is dead. I shan't hope for the smell to improve, then. No, you probably shouldn't. <laughs> well, at least he doesn't get offended easily. All right. Well, let's try it then. Hello. Hmm. Let's see. Do you? All right. Uh, go left. Right. Where did the brothers put my book? They should be switched for their insolence. <clears throat> Aura, please do not be alarmed. I do not wish to frighten you. You? You are the... in my husband's body. I am a spirit of justice. I meant your husband no harm. I would ease your distress had I the power. I knew when he left that this could happen. He told me. His father died a Grey Warden too. Tell me, is there anything I can do for you? Tell me, and I will do it. Avenge him, spirit. I will wait for his ashes a little longer, if it means that whoever did this to him will pay. The Darkspawn. Yes, I understand. And she is gone. Did I do the right thing? I think so, yes. She loved this man a great deal, and he loved her. I envy what they had. I must think on this more. But another time, thank you for bringing me here. You're welcome, Justice. Well, thank you for bringing me here, Spirit God. I would never have found that on my own. Eh, you might have eventually. Ask around other people, huh? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, Dirk, I'm gonna ask you to head back to Kalharal to quick pick something up, alright? How is it different? Excuse me? How is what different? How is your death different from mine? Yes, good question. My death was symbolic. 
I entered the Legion, and thus my old life ended. But I imagine death will catch up with me soon enough. Don't you worry. I do not worry. I was simply curious. <laughs> Alright. Hello. You've been standing here a long time. Are you alright? Doesn't want to talk to you. Apparently not. Alright. This thing you did. The murders of those men in the forest. What of it? What you did was wrong. You must make amends. And to whom should I make these amends? Those humans are dead, if you recall. You must make amends to humans. It was your condemnation of their race that led to your Ooh. folly. I wouldn't expect that to occur any time soon. Justice? You're absolutely right. So where am I going in Kulharol? Why are you so loyal to your Legion of the Dead? And to Orzammar? Don't they hate you? They do. I'm castless, so I'm worthless to them. And yet, you'll give your life away to prove... what? That I... that I'm more than I say I am? You don't owe them anything. You don't need to prove your worth to them. Maybe I need to prove it to myself. Hmm. You're really, really grumpy. You noticed. I'm good at reading people. Ah, so it has nothing to do with the fact that I'm terribly obvious about it. And on we go. And he wants us to fight to defend their escape. You're going to Here we go, anyway. turn right. Oh, hello, you're right, I missed loot. Ah. Nice. The wall carving. Huh. All right. What will happen to you once Kristoff's body has fully decayed? I do not know. Perhaps I will be drawn back to the Fade. Or remain here, bound to the tiny motes of dust that once were Kristoff. Oh, lovely. Do you think that's possible? I know less about this than you. How securely is your spirit bound to this body? Can you leave it? I could, if I chose to. Do you want to leave it? I do not know anymore. Interesting questions, Valona. For once, I'm glad you're wrong. Your ears are so pointy, like an animal. Do they make it easier for you to hear? Oh my. Are you... are you saying my ears are big? Not excessively so. You... you think they're clownish, oh, don't dear. you? You know, now that you mention it... I knew it! Don't talk to me. <laughs> Valona... The normal. I promise the normal. <laughs> they people. It seems you actually like this world. I do. I've had experiences I cannot even begin to explain. A pity that you'll soon fall apart. I could find and inhabit another corpse. A female body <laughs> might offer a different what? perspective, wouldn't you think? If I die in your presence, you stay away from my body. You hear me? <laughs> your objection is noted. Right. <laughs> this world is nothing like I thought it would be. The demons lust to cross the veil, but the rest of us scoff. We pity mortals, we do not envy them. Perhaps you should help us instead. The spirits consider mortals beyond their reach and beyond help. They do not understand. We are wrong about this world. There is beauty here. And the mortals, they are worth saving. You helped me in the Fade, and have proven yourself since. It is not right to judge all mortals the same. So glad you approve. I wonder, may I make a request? There is something in this world you call Lyrium. Might you find me an object made from it? Raw Lyrium is dangerous. Not to a body that is already dead, surely? I desire only the smallest bit of pure rock. The version of Lyrium that mortals dream of in the Fade, it is not the same. Here it sings. 
The sound is something only a spirit could hear, but it summons an ache I didn't know I had. Really? Huh. Would this ring do? I, I think the stone is near him. That is it. That is it exactly. Oh, thank you. Well, you're welcome. Of all the things I have seen in this world, this is the most precious. Really? I shall keep it at my side as a reminder that even in misfortune, good can be found. Huh. Well. Okay, so Gruen, this is a little weird, but, um... I've run out of gifts I think you'd really like, so, um... How do you feel about engraved silver braces? Thank you. You're welcome. How about a nice whetstone? Thank you. How about some alcohol? Thank you. <laughs> this is a book. I don't think we have uh, phylacteries. You like books, right? Uh, history written in blood. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, there are a ton of people waiting for you. No, no, I just need to... I just need to focus a bit. What you thinking? <laughs> I keep thinking about how that baby's kicking inside a Morgan and... I, I, I can't do that thing where she would put my hand on her belly so I could feel it. Actually, it's usually more like she puts her hand there and the baby stops kicking right then so you feel nothing and you finally give up and then the baby starts kicking again. <laughs> I could do that! I would love to do that, but I can't because... Yeah. Really, I don't want to be angry at Morgan. I love her, and I'd give anything so she could be well and happy, but what she's taken from me. She can't understand, or she wouldn't have done it. Yeah? I, I think she wouldn't have done it. I, I keep telling myself it's not her fault she doesn't trust anyone. Flemeth just drilled that into her, but still. Yeah. It's not just me, you know, it's the child. She's she's denying the child its father. I don't think Morgan gets about fathers, because she never had one. I know, and she thinks she was fine without, and in a way she was, but in a way she wasn't. She really wasn't. And This sounds so arrogant to say it out loud, but I don't think she's fine without me either. I mean, not... Me, just because I'm me, but you mean you as someone to love and support her and her child. Yes. I agree. So, it's very hard not to be angry when she's hurting all three of us. Oh, honey. Anyway, things to do. You put your helmet back on. Yeah. All right, you ready? Let's do this. Hmm. Seneschal Veril. Commander, many of the lords have gathered. We'll the Darkspawn that. have fielded armies, and the nobles want to know how you will protect them. Shall I assemble them, or do you need more time to strategize? Assemble them. We're going to war. I will send messengers at once. We've waited enough. Those who are late will just have to be filled in. Lord Edelbreck, this is the commander of the Greys Council, not yours. I am fearful for the villages on the plains. There's a darkspawn army, army in the field, and with the soldiers returning to the vigil... The enemy is out of hiding. We must find them and strike. 
This is no... Commander! Commander! What is it, girl? A darkspawn army is within sight of Amaranthine. Make her protect us. They're attacking the city? Amaranthine has been undermanned for weeks. She may not last long. Our forces cannot move quickly enough. But a small band might make it in time. But that's... suicide. We must try. I'll go. I'll have to rally the city's defenders. If anyone can turn the Darkspawn tide, it would be you, Commander. Fighting a horde of Darkspawn with almost certain death awaiting? Don't even think of leaving me here, Captain. Who do you want to take with you, Commander? Ogryn, you with me. Uh, that's me. It's just one measly Darkspawn army. I got your back. Who else will you bring? Nathaniel, ready to redeem your family? Initially, I thought you were utterly mad to invite me to join your order. But redemption? A man could die for that, and feel good about it. Who else will you bring? Oh, Valona, how about a chance to avenge your people? We will cut down all darkspawn before us, and I will learn what they have done with my sister. And so it is decided. Don't you go dying on me, Commander. That's the Legion's job. <laughs> Thanks. If I ever had doubts of you, they are erased. Fight nobly, and if you die, die with honor. Oh, I miss out on the suicide mission. Oh, life can be so unfair. But, uh, good luck. Chin up and all that? The rest of us will stay here. Make her protect you and hold you close, Commander. Hmm. How's it looking? Oh, monsters. Oh, better get in there. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Um. Ben. Oh, and they're all dying before I get to them. Oh, poor. Oh, fine. Oh, they. Please, Grey Warden. Save my family. My family's in the city. Please calm yourselves while I speak to the Warden Commander. Warden Commander. I am glad you arrived when you did. But I fear there is little that can be done now. What happened? A couple of nights ago, a swarm of... of gruesome creatures emerged from beneath the city. They spread pestilence and destroyed everything they touched. Then at dawn... The other Darkspawn attacked. Warden Commander, it's too late. Amaranthine is lost. Snap out of it. People are still alive. The buildings might remain. But there will be few survivors so long after those creatures appeared. Their corruption is so virulent. At least a quarter of the city succumbed within the first day. Constable, there is a Darkspawn approaching. Alone. Archers, take him down. Peace. Do not be killing. Only talk. Architect has a message for Grey Warden. Stand down, Constable. As you wish, Commander. 
The Mother's army. It marches to Vigil's Keep. She attacks now. The Architect, he sends me to warn you. You must save the Keep, then finish the Mother in her lair. And why were you sent to warn us? The Architect wishes to have the Grey Warden's trust. He does not wish to see the Mother succeed. If we leave now, we may be able to make it back to the Vigil in time to save it. And what about the Darkspawn here? Soon, they will go to Vigil's keep as well. The Mother, she wants the keep destroyed utterly. Uh, the Darkspawn has a point. We cannot leave with this other army hot on our heels. The Constable says the city is lost. I say we destroy it, burn it, and all the Darkspawn within. I am not giving up on Amaranthine. Warden Commander, we have already lost Amaranthine. We can't lose the Vigil as well. I have faith in the fortress I've built. Commander, we can't save Amaranthine if it's already lost. We can still save the Vigil. I don't want to see fire ravage these streets, but it may be our only chance. And what if there's a chance we could save someone? It would take a miracle. I will follow your lead, Commander. <sighs> I don't envy you having to make this decision. Come on, Ogryn, what if it was your family in there? Felsi, your baby? <sighs> I would risk everything. The Vigil, the Wardens, sod even you. <laughs> Stone, come on, we got a city to save. We cannot afford to lose the Vigil and the Grey Wardens. And what humans are left here are lost anyway. You want more innocent blood on your hands, Felona? I... No. I understand. Let us pray that the Keep can stand on its own. No, no. If you stay, the Mother will get what she wants. You. Fight with us. And I'll show you mercy. I will go. I will do as the Grey Warden bids. Amaranthine, then. The Darkspawn are never disorganized on their own. Something must be leading them. If we eliminate the Darkspawn leadership, we can go about finding survivors. Good luck to you. And make her watch over us all. Well... If I could get some loot, I would appreciate that. Thank you. I see. What are you thinking, Dirk? I'm thinking... People at the Vigil, they have the strongest walls, the best armor, best arms I could give them. These people, they've got nothing but us. You know what else I'm thinking? We are courageous, that's what I'm thinking. Everybody remember that, we are brave. Just be thorough. Uh, let's get him. Oh, this way, are they? I knew there were people here. You. Oh, you could be throwing bombs. Ah, too many people around. Too many people. What, right, everyone? Point. We've got to throw those bombs. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there.
But don't forget you do have a distance weapon. Oh, I do, do I? Who should I f hit with it? Oh, that's a god fun. Wow! I am slightly stuck. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Right, Nathaniel. Oh, it's one of these. Good job, Morgan. What's a oh, it's an ogre. Hear about your niggers. Not even the dog spawn. <laughs> I'm in it, Missouri. Use your health boosters. Anything else sparkling? Uh. All right. Warden Commander, we've received word of another wave of dark spawn approaching the city. They will be here within a day. Then we must prepare. Most of the survivors are taking refuge in the Chantry. The militia has set up a base of operations there. You can rest and resupply there. In the meantime, my men and I will search for more survivors. Thank you. Well... What are you doing huddling in this one spot? I don't know. Thinking of the naughty things you've done to that bed there? <laughs> I'm not sorry. Not with those gloves. Yeah. Might as well sell this stuff, nobody wants it. <sighs> Warden Commander, come quickly. The Darkspawn is still breaking through. Breaking through where? The inn. They're coming from the inn somehow. Oh. All right, I'm heading to the inn. You stay here. May God bless you, Warden Commander. Reverend Mother? Have you delivered your annual tithe to the Chantry, sir? You may be overdue. <laughs> That's what you're worried about right now. No wonder people put... Not that I would know about that.
Hey. What are you doing? I can't believe all this is happening. I thought the blight was over. You and me both. All right. Do you see any sparkles? I'm misreading. Ah, Glasserick, how are you? Well, let's go. Sniper, is it? Don't know what you were spending money on in the end. You never know. Might uh I find something. You know Morgan might need me at some point. She might, she might. Right, in we go. Don't forget Fen is gone because you've gone other places, huh? Honestly, Finn. There we go, got a general. Is that belt any good? I don't know. Fifteen percent. Oh yeah, Nathaniel take that. Is that must be upstairs. Still show that there is one. Right. Here is it alive? Don't say I didn't warn you. What? Well, I 
What have we got? Yes, coming in through the trap door. Somebody really should have thought of this. I did report it, you know. Yes. Well, looks like you do have a chance to recall Fen. Oh, better wait. You know, Derek, we should talk. Oh, now what? You do realize Morgan doesn't owe it to you to be with you, right? Yes, yes, I realize that. Look, it would be very different if she didn't love me. She she clearly did. She said she did. Everything in her behavior said she did. Except for her leaving, so... Anyway. So you don't blame her? You're not angry with her? No, no, I'm not. I'm just... I want to be with my child, alright? I want to be with the woman I love. It's really hard to think of anything else. Yeah, I get it. Anyway... Finn? Come on, here. I wish I could call her like that. I mean, I don't. She'd hate it, but... So, I, mean, I wish... With her consent, I wish I could call her like that. <laughs> I... I get it. Oh, look at this. Oh, well, well, well. Take longbow. Oh, hello. I wonder. Who's that one? General. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Let's get a good shot at him. <laughs> Back to melee weapons. Yeah, yeah, I saw you there. Oh, you think you're something special, don't you? Alright, you are the There we are. Good boy, Finn. Enemies somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, wait, why don't I just level up? Ah, can't fall in combat. Oh, are they coming behind us? Where are they coming? Oh, right there. Alright, fine. Get out of combat for half a moment. Oh, more? Come on. All right, all right, level up quick. Alright. Alright, I do want to try this one. Flicker. Alright, have to remember to 
do it at some point. You know what? Put it there. Oh hey, you haven't ever activated the uh, the other thing you got. Yeah, no. All right, seems like I'll have plenty of opportunity. Feather <laughs> sperm stick. All right, Felony, you want it? Well, it does not live up to reputation, all right. What's this? Oh, that's pretty good. Right. No loot. No loot for me. Oh well. Does this do weak points? All right. And once again, we're waiting for Fen, folks. If that's what you're all wondering. I gotta say that new sword does look sweet. Thank you. Halfway there. Almost. I like the effect of the kinetic weapons, too. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Are you gonna do me a good flicker when you get out there? <laughs> that is the plan. First Fen. He's a good boy. Alright. More dark spawn. They're like rats. Alright, first of all, first of all. Look how it works when there's more than one enemy. Isn't that how it goes? Oh, there you go. Now's your chance. Uh, yeah. <laughs> nice flicker! Thank you. Ouch, 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 ouch. Rats, I hate it when they do this. Alright, oh, fine. Come on, get out of the Oh, there it is. Alright, I liked the flicker. <laughs> Thank you. Done. Commander, the Dark Spawn are retreating. And the survivors? They are being tended to. By the Maker's mercy. Only a few were infected by the Darkspawn. Hmm. The Architect's messenger has given us directions to the Mother's lair. We must pursue her. Yes, I'll see to her. Commander, what should we do with the messenger? Let him go. He served honorably. It shall be as you say. 
Make her watch over you, Commander. All right, well, oh, it's sparkling away. I wish I could. I'm standing in it. All right, walking away. Turning around. There's a ballista. Hate loot that isn't loot. All right, all right. The story of your bravery will never be forgotten. <laughs> Thank you. Seems to be a merchant ahead somewhere. Oh, and an enchanter. Oh, Glassrick, you've come out. Hello. Have this. This one might be worth it. Let's see. Cold damage plus 12 split. No, no, the other one's better. Alright. Oh, I suppose I ought to head off. Saved. Yes. Really? Yes? How long do you think it would be before I could maybe start hoping? My child might come looking for me. Oh, wow, that's a question. Um, well, Morgan started wandering in her teens, right? Would 12 years old be too early to start hoping? I mean, I don't really want the child wandering around dangerous country alone too early, but... Does this mean you've given up on the idea that Morgan might come find you before then? No, no, I hope that every day, but... Well, there are a few different ways this story could go, aren't there? That's true. She would give the child my mother's knife, don't you think? Like I asked her to? I'm sure she would. Yes, I think so too. That would be hard to resist, don't you think? Yes, I think most people would try to find their father at some point, under those circumstances. Yeah. Yeah. There of the mother, then. Dragon bone wastes. Oh, the lana can level up. Better do it now, then. Don't know when I'll get another chance. What she needs, oh, definitely more stamina. Well, let's take a look around. Open the sky above us, at least. Dragon bones, indeed. Okay. You know, when your father took over the Arl of Denerim's palace, he moved his bedroom next to the dungeon. What oh, yes, I wondered about, about that. Sounds like someone like to nip down for a bit of torture before bedtime. Delilah did say that father had begun indulging his darker side. Hey, everyone needs daddy issues. Just trying to help. Lovely. I suppose I'd better call Finn. I uh, can't call yet. All right, we'll wait. Fifteen seconds or so, right?
ataque. Well, they're fighting each other and we could have just left them alone situation. Oh, well, two more people ready to level up. Honestly, people, why don't you tell me this before we left? Right. Hmm. Dragon head. I feel like I ought to be able to go that way. No? They're like rats. Don't you spit at me, creep. Dirk, if you don't throw a single bomb, I am never gonna forgive you. Ooh. All right, this is my opportunity. I think. Oh, other things. Not here, apparently. Okay. Okay, you have to get a little bit closer. My friend's gonna run straight past me if I do. Okay, tell them to stay put. Get a little closer. Oh great, they're coming from the side. Alright. Is this close enough, you think? No! Oh, come on. See, this is why I don't use bombs often. Such a pain. Alright, I did it! Are you happy? Alright, and you. Nice! Dead. See, that's why I don't use bombs and things often. It's such a pain. I hear ya, I hear ya. Hmm. Okay, that just takes me round. We'll go this way. Just takes me round. Oh, what's this? Drake's fall. Hmm. These aren't drakes, these are royal dragons. I'll tell you that much. I've fought drakes. Oh, no, no. oh heavens. Alright, oh, see this? This is a. This is a great big dragon! Hi, dragon! That's what they're called. And I'm in the way of its tail. Come on, move, 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 Dirk. Move. Die! Ah. Die, you 
already. Let's see the difference. See that? That is a high dragon. Drakes? Drakes are not high dragons. Alright. Which way do we come from anyway? I feel like there ought to be something on this dragon. There we go. Potent Lyrian Potion, that's it. That is it. Fine. It's a door that way. Drake's full! Legend speaks of a place where dragons go to die, in the far south in the lands of the barbarian tribes. It is said that a dragon at the end of her days lies down and allows the bitter cold to take her. It's not just a legend, I've seen drags fall with my own eyes. The ancient bones of these grand beasts piled atop one another. I felt the power that suffused this place and knew the Imperium would claim it. We built a city on the bones. We delved deep into the earth, collecting what remained of the primordial dragons, who were so like our old gods. With these bones, we created staves for our magisters, armor for our warriors, and crowns for our archons. We fashioned phylacteries to hold our blood and sarcophagi to hold our bodies, and prayed they would make us immortal. From the writings of Archon Melos. Well, speaking of... Huh. What's it look like? Nope, the other one's cooler. Nathaniel, you can have it. Anyway, I was gonna look at the map. He must have come through a hole? Okay, that's the way we came. Just checking for loot. Nope, no loot. Let's go around the edges. Hey, I don't know what this black mist is. Doesn't look healthy, does it? No, it doesn't, does it? Huh. Not bad, natural defenses. Right. 